So, that was something called Turbo Rock. And uh, has a lot of basic, I don't know, basic, but very essential kind of power chord, basic open string riff rock kind of stuff that incorporates into a little etude that we can work on and will increase your ability to play just about anything in rock and roll guitar. I will uh, break it down onto the little bits of it and explain everything. So the first thing is the theme of the general, the main theme that happens in the beginning uh, in the what we'll call the A section of it is built around this riff. And variations on it. The way it starts, it's sixth string open, third string, second, sorry, sixth string, third fret. Notice I'm using my middle finger here. Fifth string open, twice, back to third, sixth string, third fret, back to fifth string open, and then back to the uh, sixth string, third fret. But the key thing is the rhythm. One, two, three, and four, and two, two, Again, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. And that theme happens a few times throughout the song with variations. The first time it's just like I played it, second time has a little extra note added to it. Sorry. What I'm adding is the fifth string open, open A. So there it is. Uh, and then third time it appears as it is in the beginning, uh, as the same as the first time. Zero three zero zero three zero. This is, by the way, I, I will keep referring to this note as a G note. This is a G note, and come across uh, in different places. Then, the fourth time that riff appears, but with a slight variation, instead of playing a G note there in the middle, we're going to play a C in the middle. I'll show you where it is, which is fifth string, op third fret. So it's going to be... Somewhere in the middle, instead of going to the low G note, I went to the C note on the 5th string 3rd fret. So here are the four riffs in a row. Something else, riff that we'll talk about later. Second time the riff. Another riff that we'll talk about later. Third time the riff. Back to another riff that we'll talk about later. Fourth time the riff. And a resolution that we'll talk about later. There's a very obvious call and response thing that happens here, and it happens in a lot of music in rock and roll. So it's good to kind of get used to that idea and listen to it. In this piece, it's very obvious. Every line here has a call and response effect to it. We talked about the call, which is that main riff. Let's talk about the responses. The response... Let me break that down slowly. Fifth string open A. Fifth string third fret C. Fourth string open. Back to fifth string C. Third fret. Then a quick little riff. It starts C. Fifth string third fret. Fourth string open. Fourth string second fret. Fifth string third fret and finish it off with the fifth string open. The 
call and response sounds like this. There you have it. The second response, if you remember the second time the riff goes We added that extra open fifth string A, and we're going to add a couple power chords and a little riff, something tiny. There's my C power chord, and again, you can do it this way or this way. It's C because my pointer finger dictates the note that we're on, and this note is on the fifth string third fret, which is C. And then I got fifth string open, fifth string third fret and I'm gonna do a D chord which is basically this D power chord just take that C slide it up two frets so the response here is and the call and response third response is the same as the first and the call is also the same same thing as the first line that I talked about earlier last response the um, fourth response the call remember had the variation with that C note at the third fret Do a C power chord, a D power chord, and an A power chord, which is the fifth string open and the fourth string second fret. Very quick. One and two and three. Rest. So the fourth line is fourth call and response. That's the whole A section of the song. Here it is all together, really slow. Call, response. Second call. B section again says so some kind of a variations on the call and response thing looks like this it down first we can see definitely a call and response kind of effect thing we have the same line almost but with little twists happening there so I got a a power chord fifth string open fourth string second fret twice one two fifth string open sixth string third fret 6th string 1st fret that's my call 
C, fifth string, third fret, G, and then the A power chord again for a full measure. One, two, F, three, F, four, F. Here it is again. A, A, da, 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 da. One and two and three and four and. Then we're gonna do essentially the same line but with a little twist. Starts the same. This is where the difference is. Instead of doing that low G, we're going to do a D power chord, fourth string open, third string second fret. And back to the A chord. One and two and three and four. Here it is again slow. sections together third bit, the next bit in this section, kind of starts the same but has a little twist. A power chord. Notice that we have A power chord, 5th string open, 4th string 2nd fret twice. Then we're going to climb up to 5th string 2nd fret B, 5th string 3rd fret C, D power chord twice. Six string open E. Let's do the response there is going to be six string E, six string uh, third fret G, A power chord twice, six string G, fifth string A. Here it is again. with that beginning call. Now we get the, f the little fancy thing. This is kind of a variation on a D chord. I'm not going to get too much how the theory works. This is the fingering that works for me, but you can do it this way if you want, if it's easier for you, whatever is comfortable. I start 6th string, 2nd fret, 4th string open, 3rd string, 2nd fret, and I try to let the note ring. It's not that. You want to make sure that they keep jingling through it. The next answer to that is this. And I got 4th string open, I keep my ring finger on the 3rd string 2nd fret, and I add the pinky on the 2nd string 3rd fret. And again, if you want to do it this way, with these fingers, that works just as effectively. F power chord, 1st fret. 6th string 1st fret, 5th six string 5th string, third fret, and that's a simple riff, open, 3rd fret, open, so let's take it from that little D arpeggio thingy. that section. Let me play it one time all the way through slowly.
that's your B section. After we play, after we play the B section, we're going to go back to the A section, but we're going to have a little coda, which means a little tag thing at the end. The last response is going to be a little different to kind of help us finish the song. I'll go through it and I'll show you, I'll break it down. So first we start regular. Call, response. Second call. response here is the coda and that's going to be a little different to kind of set up the ending. It looks like this. And the way it works, fifth, fourth, fifth string open, second fret, third fret, fourth string open, fourth string, second fret, sixth string open, 6th string 3rd fret, 5th string 3rd fret, notice how I did the fingering here, going to an A power chord, 5th string open, 4th string 2nd fret, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and, and that's the whole thing. So that's how it sounded on acoustic guitar. You can play it just as effectively on electric, might even be better, but on electric, it's going to sound like this. extra bonus that you can do here is play it on the bass guitar and if we can get a guitar player and a bass player to play it together maybe even add drums you can actually have a nice little riff like little good rocking tune happening here I'm playing on the bass I'm playing the same the couple of things I have to pay attention to that are a little different is whenever I have power chords on the, the 
in the guitar part, on the bass, I'm only going to play the lower of the two notes, meaning the one that's on the thicker string. So if I have a C power chord like this, then my, I'm only going to play this note. If I have an A power chord on the guitar like this, fifth string open, um, fourth string, second fret, I'm only going to play that open note. And, and so on. So this whole song, and I'll play the slow, is going to look like this. Here we're just going to play them. 